In this video we'll show you how to make a drawstring bag with your own applique decoration. Are you looking for a unique bag for this summer? If so, this unique backpack is perfect for you. The size allows you to carry all your essentials with ease, it's useful for everyday use or for your next trip, and the vivid two-colored applique design will make you stand out. You may also give it a twist and make it the perfect Father's Day gift. It's practical and stylish, making sure Dad stands out wherever he goes. Using the knife tool you can split any design you like and create a striking product with your own applique decoration. The finished backpack is 18 cm wide and 50 cm tall, that is about 7 inches by 19.6 inches. The applique parts used for this bag are about 13 cm in width and 19 cm in height, that is approximately 5.11 inches by 7.48 inches. You may use any design you like for your applique decoration. First select a hoop that is suitable for the design you're planning. Now let's design our applique. We will use the text tool and type number 1. Needless to say that you can choose any character you like or create an altogether different design. I'm using font XPG 243 for this one. Now select the created number. Make sure that proportional is enabled and set its height to 190 millimeters. Center it to the hoop. Now we will change it into applique type. As you can see it looks like a fabric now, it doesn't have stitches anymore. If you are not familiar with applique, have in mind that it is not a stitch type applied entirely by the embroidery machine. It is a type which involves attaching a piece of fabric on your hoop during the sewing process. At first placement stitches are added by the machine. These resemble an outline indicating where the fabric needs to be placed. As soon as you place the fabric, the machine will make holding stitches and the decoration stitches. A crucial aspect of applique is fabric trimming. In other words, the quality of the applique is strongly related to the way the excess fabric is trimmed off. Most often, the fabric is cut around with scissors after the holding stitches have been placed by the machine. A nice alternative is to have the fabric cut using special needles on your embroidery machine or by using a digital cutter. For this video we will show you how to cut the fabric using the special cutting needles on your embroidery machine. So we will select pre-cut and glue as the fabric trim option. Users who don't have a set of cutting needles or a digital cutter can still make the project. In that case, just select Fabric Trim option during embroidery and cut the excess fabric manually after the holding stitches are placed. When doing so, the machine stops during embroidery so that you can cut the excess fabric with a sharp pair of scissors. Let's add some decorative stitches using the Auto Border tool. Right click and use the Auto Border option. We will set the distance to zero repeats to 1 and set the type to satin serial with 3 mm width. Having this outline selected, we will set the density to 2 mm. Let's cut the applique in half using the knife tool. Start the outline shape tool from the digitize section. Left click to define the points that will form the line. To finalize the line, you may press the escape key and press escape once more to release the outline shape tool. Now select this cut line along with the applique part. Then while having them selected, right click and use the knife tool. Now number one is split in two. We will set the color of the upper part as blue so that we have a visual idea of our final design. Select both applique parts, go to Remove Overlaps option on Properties bar and choose Never from the available options. 
change the outline width into 0.4 mm and set the stitches style to none. Finally set the offset to minus 1.5 mm. This will bring the holding stitches a little to the inside. Now for each of the applique parts, set the same outline color as the fill. Actually what we're trying to do here is to match the outline color to the fabric color so that the holding stitches are practically invisible. The satin serial auto border will cover any holding stitches around the design but you also want to cover the stitches in between the applique parts. To do so, we will use the outline shape tool once more and draw a line on the area where the two applique parts meet. If necessary, edit this line using the node editor so that it matches the initial one. Again, for this line, set the type to satin serial, the outline width to 3 mm and the density to 2 mm. Notice that in order to cover everything as we like, we want this line to be embroidered before the auto border. So we will click on auto button to turn off the auto mode and adjust the sequence manually. Select the line and move it after all the applique parts and before the final auto border. Our design is done, so now we will create the cutwork designs for the pre-cut applique parts. If you want to use pre-cut applique, just set the fabric trim to during embroidery and you will cut the excess applique fabric on the hoop during embroidery. Alternatively, you may start a new design and select a hoop that is small enough for one of the appliques to fit, ensuring a compact fit for optimal cutwork results. From the initial design, select the upper applique part, copy and paste it into this new design. Center it to the hoop. Remove the fill color and set its outline to cutwork. We will also add zigzag stitches around the design to help stabilize the fabric and prevent it from fraying or tearing during the cutting process. We will use the auto border tool once again. Choose to the outside placement and set the distance to 3 mm. We want only one repeat. Set the type to satin serial and set the width to 3 mm. Having the satin serial selected, set its density to 2 mm on the properties bar. Repeat the same process for the lower part of the applique and we are ready to go. For this project we will need canvas fabric for the body of the bag, and a round piece of assorted fabric for the bottom of the bag. A downloadable pattern is available for the bag's circular bottom. One small piece of fabric for the side tab. For the two applique parts use two fabrics, each measuring 15 cm by 15 cm. We are using vinyl for a shiny look. String of your choice, about 200 cm or 79 inches long. Interfacing, stabilizer, adhesive spray, and of course your selection of threads. Let's begin. We will start by cutting the applique fabrics with the cutwork needles. Those who want to use pre cut fabrics or plan to cut them in a different way may skip this step. As already mentioned, you can simply cut the fabric during the embroidery process. Now, Hoop the stabilizer, use adhesive spray to hold the applique fabric onto the stabilizer and smooth out any bubbles. Set the hoop to the machine, load the cutwork file. Start the machine. The first step is the zigzag outline. 
This will hold the fabric firmly in place for the cutting. Before you go on to cut work, you need to change the embroidery needle with the black cutwork needle as instructed. Remove the current needle. Insert the tip of the black cutwork needle into the cutwork needle holder and make sure that the flat side of the needle faces the needle clamp. Press OK. Press the Start button and the needle will start cutting. The black needle cuts at this particular angle. Each cutting needle cuts at a different angle, so you are next prompted to change to the blue cutwork needle. Substitute the needle with a blue cutwork needle and proceed. Keep going with the needles until you are done. Once the cutwork is finished, detach the hoop and remove the cutwork from the fabric. Trim any excess if necessary, but it's better to leave the stabilizer on for a more crisp result. Follow the same procedure to cut the other part of the applique. The applique fabrics are ready, so let's leave them aside for now. Let's proceed with embroidering the applique. Lay the canvas fabric flat so that the longer side is placed horizontally as width. Fold the vertical sides together and mark a point on the crease line with an erasable pen. Make a mark 24 cm or 9.4 inches from the previous mark. This is where we will center our applique design. Now use adhesive spray to the stabilizer, place the fabric on top and press it down firmly. Hoop the fabric and stabilizer using the template so that the mark we drew earlier aligns with the center of the template. Now open the file and thread the machine. Attach the hoop to the machine and start the first outline. This is our guide stitch for placing the applique fabric. Take the hoop out from the machine and place the applique fabric you cut earlier on the base fabric. Use adhesive spray to hold it in place. Attach it in a way that it doesn't go beyond the guide stitch or fall short of it. Smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles carefully. Before starting the applique stitch, match the thread color to the color of the applique fabric. Attach the hoop to the machine. The holding stitches of the applique will be first Continue with a guide stitch for the other part of the applique. Remove the hoop from the machine once again and carefully attach the second applique to the base fabric once again. Set the thread to the same color as the other applique fabric. Attach the hoop to the machine and go with the holding stitches of the second applique part. Finally comes the satin serial to neatly cover the edges. Our applique is ready. Remove the hoop from the machine and tear off the stabilizer carefully. Now let's make the side tab. Take a fabric for the side tab and fold it at one centimeter, that is approximately one third of an inch, from the top edge and press it. Do the same thing for the bottom edge as well. Fold it in half and press it. Sew one end of the fabric. Leave this aside for now and let's go back to the main fabric. Mark a point with an erasable pen at 8 cm, that is 3.14 inches from the top of the wrong side. Make a 2.5 cm cut there. Repeat the same process for the other side. This is the piping through which the drawstring will go through. Roll the edge twice so that the folded edge lines perfectly with the end of the cut. Then secure it in place. Repeat the same for the other side.
stitch along the edge for both sides. Now fold the top edge down by one centimeter, that is one third of an inch, and press it to create a crease. Take the folded edge, fold once more, align it with the cut we made earlier and press it down firmly. Simply sew along the bottom using a back stitch. Apply the interfacing on the wrong side of the fabric, avoiding the drawstring area and iron it. Now let's sew the side tab. Mark a point at 3 cm that is 1.18 inches from the bottom on the wrong side. Fold the side tab and place it to match the drawn line. Make sure it extends 4 cm from the edge as the loop faces the outside. Fold the fabric over it and secure it in place. Now we will sew the sides using a French seam. Secure the fabrics and simply sew with a seam allowance of 0.5 cm or a quarter of an inch. After sewing, open the seam allowance and press it to one side. Be careful not to damage the vinyl applique while ironing. Turn the wrong side out to press the seam again. Make sure to press it flat so that the seam allowance comes out. Once again be careful not to damage the applique with your iron. Cut the excess of the side tab to 0.5 cm or a quarter of an inch. Next, sew all the way from the string placement point to the bottom edge of the fabric, securing the side tab using a back stitch. Now let's sew the bottom fabric to the back. First place the interface with an iron. Fold the bottom fabric in half twice and make four creases. Mark the intersection of the creases at the wrong side. Fold the bag in half until the stitch and mark the creases on both sides. Mark the crease on the other edge as well. Now align the marks together. Secure them together with the right sides facing each other. The center of the seam allowance on the bag should align with one of the four marks. Use clips or pins to hold them in place. Sew with one centimeter or one third of an inch seam allowance. When it's done, turn the bag inside out and adjust the shape. Now thread the drawstring through the piping. Thread both ends of the drawstring through the side tab. And finally tie a knot to secure it in place. The bag is ready. Grab a towel and see you at the beach.